Important note before you begin, if you are going to be working on driving today, please do not do this exercise while operating a vehicle. In this exercise, you're going to be simulating or visualizing driving. Please enjoy the exercise. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Somatic Tracking for Visual Symptoms and Driving. My name is Dr. Yonit Arthur, and I'm so glad you're joining me because somatic tracking is one of the most potent tools we can use for rewiring your brain's automatic alarm response to your symptoms. This is really worth doing because that automatic alarm response dramatically increases the volume dial on your symptoms. In other words, if we can teach your brain to be a little more neutral about symptoms, it will lead to a decrease in symptoms. Remember, try not to be too attached to what happens during this particular round of the exercise. The exercise has a cumulative effect and may take some time and practice over time for you to see a difference. Before we get started, you have a few options for how to do this today. Option one is you can find something within your space right now that brings on the visual symptoms. So for example, if driving brings on your visual symptoms, you can find something to simulate driving, like watching a video of driving. Or it may be that screens tend to bring on your symptoms. You can watch a screen. Or you can find anything else that tends to bring symptoms on for you. The second option is to imagine that particular activity or visual trigger in your mind's eye. So take some time now to get yourself comfortable and set up and feel free to pause the recording and come back when you're ready. All right. So I want you to make yourself comfortable. And before we get started, Let's start by taking a few breaths, breathing in normally through your nose if you can, and really prolonging your exhale as long as you can. You can imagine you're blowing on a mirror as you're trying to prolong your exhale. Take these breaths at your own pace. Breathing in normally and really prolonging into a nice, long exhale. Let's take one more breath. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is as you're watching or looking at the thing that brings on those visual sensations, whether that's in real life or in your mind's eye, I want you to notice the thoughts, sensations, or feelings that are also coming up at the same time. So you might notice the sensations themselves, and then you'll also notice other sensations or thoughts or feelings that are coming up at the same time. So now just take a little bit of time to get a map of all those thoughts, sensations, and feelings that are coming up with the visual 
sensations. And as you do this, you might notice that some of these thoughts, sensations, or feelings are more prominent than others. Some may feel really big and heavy and strong, and others might feel a little bit less so. Now, I invite you to pick the one that feels the heaviest or strongest to you. And just know that if that feels like too much right now, it's okay to start with one of the smaller ones as well. So focus for a moment on this thought sensation or feeling and see if you can get a little bit deeper into your awareness of your body noticing how this thought sensation or feeling shows up in or around your body so first See if you can locate it. Where in or around your body is the thought, sensation, or feeling located? How big does it feel? You can even use your hands to indicate the size. Is there a particular shape, color, or texture associated with this now that you've located it? Does it feel dense or heavy or hard to you? Or does it feel airy? or light, or more transparent to you. And it's perfectly okay if none of these words fit. Please feel free to come up with your own, just using whatever words describe this thought, sensation, or feeling now that you've located it inside or outside your body. You're doing a great job. Now all we're going to do is stay with it. So here you are, doing the thing that brings on the visual sensations or coming back to visualizing the thing that brings on visual sensations and also holding in your awareness this thought, sensation, or feeling that we were just focusing on, having both of them in your awareness together, and just staying with them. And as you stay here, just note to yourself if anything changes about that thought, sensation, or feeling. You're just observing it, 
not judging it one way or the other, just noting to yourself, that's changed or it hasn't changed. It might change in size or location. It might change in density or color or any of the other attributes you noticed. Or it might stay completely the same and that's all okay. You're just watching it to notice what happens. And as you sit here watching it, see if you can experiment a little bit. You can breathe into it and just notice what happens when you do that. Notice if that changes that thought, feeling, or sensation. Keeping in mind again that whatever happens is perfectly okay. We're just watching it, just observing it, not judging it, just getting to know it. See if you can bring even a little bit of gentle curiosity or even a little playfulness in as you observe the sensation, thought, or feeling. Just noticing as you're continuing to sit here, exposing yourself to the thing that brings on visual sensations. Remember, we're not trying to change anything right now. We're just giving your brain the message that whatever's here is okay. It's safe. It's just a sensation. It's just a thought. It's just a feeling. It's here, and it's okay for you to have it. And it's okay for you to have the visual sensations at the same time. All of this is okay. It's perfectly safe. As we start to get to the close of this exercise, just see if you can ask for even just a little bit more space on the inside, just a little bit more room for you to be with the sensation, thought, or feeling, just a little bit more room for you to be with the visual sensation. And notice what happens when you ask. Keeping in mind that any outcome is perfectly okay and perfectly safe. You're doing a great job of staying with this thought, sensation, or feeling. Just like how you normally respond to the visual sensations, your brain has probably learned that this particular thought, feeling, or sensation is something to be avoided. So us doing this right now is a powerful way of teaching your brain, of teaching your nervous system, that it doesn't need to respond with these automatic alarm 
and danger signals anymore. And know that as you do this exercise more regularly, you will be able to reduce the volume of your symptoms as you teach your brain not to respond with those automatic alarm and danger signals anymore. Thank you for joining me, and we can stop the exercise for now.